Hi everyone! Welcome back to GIS Gallery. In this video, we'll start our journey into spatial adjustment in ArcGIS Pro. Today, we'll cover how to use attribute transfer, as well as how to apply transform options like affine and similarity transformations. These tools are essential for aligning and transforming spatial data with precision. Let's dive in and explore how to master these adjustments step by step. So we, I have a uh, streets network here, okay? So this is a line network that is called streets, right? So I have different streets here and then each of them has the attribute. So if I pop up, uh, yeah, it has the street names and all those things I have, okay? And uh, another thing is I have another layer which is called new streets, which is this one. And if you look here, it doesn't have any name. Okay, so it's empty, right? So it's, it shows null here. It doesn't have any kind of name information or any other attribute data. So how you use this attribute transfer tool is you can actually uh, copy, uh, you can actually copy and paste the attributes from one feature to another feature. All right, so that is how you use transfer attributes. Okay. So when you click on transfer attributes, what does it say? It says click on the source feature. The source feature is the feature from which we are copying the attributes. Okay, so where we can copy the attribute that is called source feature. So we know that if I go to map explore, we know that this thing has the name, right? It has the name and type all this information. But then if I look here, it doesn't have any kind of attribute information. So what I can do is, so if you see here, this line is the same one that actually continues all the way here, right? So these two, like logically speaking, these two must be must, uh, should be having the same street name, right? So if it's, this is one street, this street also should be having the same name. So what I can do is I can actually copy the attributes from this line or this street and then paste them here. Okay, that is how you use the transfer attributes. So if I click on transfer attribute, it says click on the source feature, which is the feature we're copying the attributes from. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just click here. Okay, so it's copied now. Now what does it say? Click on the target feature of the map. Hold shift to transfer to multiple features. So if I just click here, it says attribute transfer completed. Okay, now if I just go and click on the pop up, we can see that the same name that was on this street, like the mails and type has been copied to this one. I mean copied and pasted to this one. So that is how you use your transfer attributes. And similarly, uh, this one is just a simple, uh, a single click, right? So I just, I copied from here, I pasted from here. And if you, do you remember what you said? It, it said to shift to paste multiple. So this thing was, I just click here, copy, paste, symbol, left clicks. So this is single copy paste. You can actually paste multiple times. So this, if you click on source, it says right, hold shift to transfer to multiple attributes. So I'll just press on my shift key on my keyboard and then I can just click wherever I want to paste to. So uh, if you remember, so the first click was copy, second click should be the paste option. So if I Holding down the shift key, I can just paste multiple. So I'll click here, click here, click here. So what it do? It did a multiple paste operation. Now if I just go to my pop-up, just click here, see. The core attribute that is from uh, in here was uh, copied and then pasted to these features. Okay. So that is how you use your transfer attributes. So we'll first go to this two. So we have, so we saw the attribute transfer. Now we'll see the transform, okay? So uh, so what does the transform tool do? It transforms features to a new location using displacement vectors. 
so it it's it's as same as the geo referencing right so we did the second type of geo referencing right so which was the image to image geo referencing is the same as this but we'll be using uh, this on the vector layers using some kind of links okay so that is how we do this one okay so in here i have two layers so uh, one is a no geo reference layer okay so these lines are uh, streets of which place st petersburg right and then i have another layer which is actually not geo reference or which is somehow place over the ocean so what i can do is i can use this reference layer to actually transform this layer or uh, this data to the correct place right so the tool that we can use uh, the tool that we can use to do this is transform okay so if you click on transform it says to select one or more features so uh, what you should do first is you have to select what are all the features that you actually want to move okay first step is select the features that you want to move so this is my feature that i want to actually move it to the correct location uh, yes did anyone try to speak then we'll come yeah so first thing we will do is first select the features that you actually want to displace uh, displace to the correct location right next thing we need to do is just like we place the uh, control points or referencing in the image to image referencing we will be placing links okay so you see here we have click on new links so add new links and what we'll do is just like geo referencing we'll just place a first point here and then go over click on the same location in here so i'll be placing a minimum of four links so it actually needs a minimum of four links so that it can actually move first point here and second point to the same location and maybe i'll set the third point in here so after you have placed a minimum of four links right you can click on transform here so if you click on transform so that layer or that data which was in uh, falling over the wrong location has been transformed and scaled and moved to the correct location using the displacement links that were that we connected it to the uh, reference layer right so if we look here you can see it has been made into the same place all right and so whatever the edits you do if you actually want to save it we have to click on the save here since i don't want this data to be saved i'll just click on discord so that it will be over there so okay yeah so in here i have these buildings okay so i have some buildings and parcels then if you see the same shape here so i have the parcels here and then i have the building four things but then this parcel has been made empty right so this land parcel and the building footprints should have sat over here but it's not sitting over here so what we can do is we can actually uh, apply a transformation function on this feature so that they will be scaled moved and oriented in this way okay by the shape of this polygon so for that we'll just click on transform we can either select similarity okay so and then what you need to do is same as the last time we will need to select these features right and then you will be setting up the links here so click on links and then you will just 
move as per how you want this to be moved. So I have now this side should come over here. This should come over here, right? So and if I click on transform here, right? So it was transformed. So by the similarity 2D, what it does is it looks on to how similar U2 data is, right? So I had these two, this shape of a polygon, right? I just want to do it, right? So I had this shape of a polygon. I had the same kind of shape in here, right? So by placing my displacement links, this will look up how similar your two features is, and then you'll it will just uh, scale, rotate, and then uh, move your features as per how your two data are similar. So that is how Simulate 2D works to actually transform your data, right? Make a selection, right? Make a selection, and then I'll just click on transform. Yeah, and it works. Alright, so it's the same as. Uh, I've been uh, I've been transformation and it's going again. So what the difference here is, is it looks like how similar your two shapes is, and then it will transform your data as per uh, your reference layer, right? So that's what this uh, transformation method does.